Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently at CBIT, where some of the world's leading mobile providers are discussing some of the hot topics in the industry. I'm joined now by Michael Ritter from Advert Optical Networking to discuss some of these issues. Michael, thanks for joining me today. Hi, Gareth. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Michael, mobile broadband is continuing to be a hot topic in 2011. Yes. There was a great deal of discussion at Mobile World Congress and also here at CBIT about the backhaul side of things. Is backhaul cost per bandwidth still the driving factor? So cost per bandwidth was clearly the driving factor to make the decision to migrate from a TDM-based backhaul network into an Ethernet-based net backhaul network. But once you've made this decision, then there's much more to come. Because what we're doing at the same time we are migrating the, the backhaul network is we are also still migrating and evolving the radio access networks. So we're moving from 3G to 4G, LTE, WiMAX, other things. And there's much more to consider then. Aside from the cost issue, what else are operators looking for? So operators are looking for a future-proof solution because of this migration process still going on. And on the other side, they're also looking at service differentiation. If you look at mobile services today you're using on your handsets, it's all the same quality of service. But this might change in the future and very likely will change in the future. So you will have differentiated services. And this is also something you need to handle in your backhaul network. What does this mean in regards to technology and functions? So, you need to provide different qualities of service to keep the total bandwidth consumption low. You need to be capable of monitoring it. You need to have strong OEM mechanisms in there to measure your quality of service. So lots of things you have to have on top. Uh, walking around the show floor, there's lots of discussions about timing and synchronization. What's happening here? So once you make the decision to move away completely from TDM-based backhaul to Ethernet, you need to provide a timing signal to the cell towers. And here there are different mechanisms on the market. There's synchronous Ethernet, there's 1588 out there. And uh, we have to have a solution in order to get these cell towers running. OK, and why is this? So just to, to synchronize the frequencies, to uh, allow handovers. So there's lots of things to do. And with LTE coming, and especially the TDD version of LTE, we need more precise and more accurate information than is available today. OK, Michael, thanks for the overview. Welcome. If you'd like to know more about Adver Optical Networking or its mobile backhaul solution, please visit www.adveroptical.com.